Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for coming from a faraway place at a busy time in your lives. I'm traditional Japanese Rakugo comic storyteller, Katsura Sunshine. <laughs> Rakugo is a 400-year-old tradition of Japanese comic storytelling that originated in the Edo period. I move my head left, I'm playing one character. I move my head right, I'm playing another character. And every story ends in a punchline. Ukiyo-e woodblock prints came from the same period in Edo, Japan. And every single print had a story to tell. So what better way to tell the stories of ukiyo-e woodblock prints than combining these two wonderful art forms. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us dive right into Katsura Sunshine's ukiyo-e woodblock prints and the stories they tell. <laughs> this scene is from the evening. Here on the right side, you have a line of famous theaters. The Nakamura-za, the Ichimura-za, and the Morita-za. Ah! Za must mean theater. Like Kabuki-za. Exactly. Za theater. <laughs> <laughs> Here, at this little stall, what do you think this man is selling? Oh, I don't think he's selling fast food. <laughs> He's selling fast food. <laughs> He's selling sushi. Sushi, sushi. Sushi? Yes. He's selling sushi, the fast food of the Edo period. But even here, we have a story behind the picture. Do you know that sushi in the Edo period was much bigger than the sushi you get today? Oh, really? Much bigger? Yes. Almost double the size. You could not eat a piece of sushi in one bite in the Edo period. Oh, really? So how did people eat it? Uh, like a hamburger? <laughs> no, not exactly. A lot of times the customers of the sushi shops in the Edo period were in a rush. So they asked the master of the sushi shop, Master, master, I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got no time. Just cut this sushi into half so I can eat each piece in one bite. And the master would say something like, Hai yorokonde! And take his knife and dong, cut the piece of sushi into two pieces. And so the customer could eat the, each piece in one bite. <laughs> Did you ever notice that when you order your favorite sushi, it always comes out on a plate in two pieces. I see. So in the Edo period, they had a big sushi that they cut into two little pieces and then they could eat them in one bite. And that tradition persists today in the tradition of having two pieces of sushi on one plate. I get it. Ha! I always thought that there were two pieces because sushi was too delicious to eat just one. 